Okay, so how to draw cartoon heads? Is there any particular rule or is there any particular technique that has to be followed? Uh, well, in this video, I'll tell you about that and also I'll show you how from simple shapes we can create a cartoon head. Right? So let's go. Hello and welcome to Digital Pastel. My name is Abhi Basu. I am a professional cartoonist and illustrator. And in this channel, I share my experience and knowledge regarding cartooning and illustration. Okay. So in this video, I will tell you about how to draw the cartoon heads. You can draw cartoon heads from simple shape. Normally heads are either round or elliptical shape. But you can always use shapes like square, rectangle or even triangle or any shape for that matter. Today I'll show you uh, how to draw cartoon heads of humans as well as animals from simple shapes and also how to draw various head positions. Okay, so let's go. Okay, in the first scenario we'll draw balloon shape and from there we'll draw the actual face. Right? Initially we'll draw the shape and from there slowly and steadily will come to the actual face drawing the vertical and horizontal lines okay the horizontal line is for the eye line okay drawing the eyebrows then the eyes now notice that the initial shape which you have drawn is just a reference and then we will draw the actual face and remove the extra lines which are not necessary. Okay, I am drawing a very rough sketch just to give you an idea how it is done. Not going for too much detailing. Now getting to the actual shape of the head. Making some changes. Now removing the lines which are not necessary. Okay now in the next shape we we'll start with H7. Now see the face resembles this particular shape. Now we are drawing the outlines. Here the outline of the chin. So initially you have to think what is the exact shape of the head which shape actually matches the head whether it's a square, rectangle, circle, triangle, whatever it is you draw the initial shape and then slowly and steadily you create the outline and remove the extra lines So that should be your target. I'm doing a little bit of detailing now. The third phase. Okay, the initial shape was kidney beans. Okay, now doing the detailing. Now the face, the mouth. Now see the chin is a bit 
different in the actual kidney bean shape and removing the extra lines which are not necessary. Okay, so you get the actual face which was required. A little bit of detailing. Okay, so that's how you draw an initial basic shape and from there you get the actual face. Okay, so now I will tell you about various head positions. Right. Now, normally when you are drawing a head, when you are seeing the head from the front, there will be a vertical line which divides the face into two halves, left and right. And there is a horizontal line which is normally the eye line. You draw the eyes there. Right. Now, if the head is moved about three-fourth position on the left or the right, then the vertical line will also move accordingly. Okay, so here what you will see is uh, the left ear, the left eye, okay, which will be more prominent than the right eye. Right eye will be much smaller and you won't be able to see the right ear. And the nose also you will see more on the left side, right. So this is the actual picture. Now in this position, when the person is looking down or the view, of the head is from the top right. then the vertical lines will be in the middle but the eye line will be a little bit lower so the person is looking down so accordingly the eye line will be much lower right see the actual picture so here as you can see the eyes and the lips they are much smaller in size whole of the face is on the lower half and the upper half covers the top of the head right now similarly if the person is looking up or you are looking from the down then this will be the position of the lines the vertical lines in the center and the horizontal line or the eye line will be little bit up okay so this is the actual position of the head so you can see that the eyes are much smaller relatively nose is relatively bigger lips are bigger because our view is from the down and we can see the lips and the nose little bit closer than the eyes. Now in case of humans the rules are much simpler because either the head is oval or round but in case of animals different animals have different types of head or different types of skull so there is a particular rule for animals you have to see the animal head and you have to draw the vertical and horizontal lines accordingly. Now in this case this is the head of a cow now notice that I have drawn a vertical line, horizontal line for the eyes and there is another horizontal line that is for the mouth. Okay, so this is the actual picture of the cow. Other things are added like it has a hump, it has long ears. So there are certain things which are added later on. And this is another animal. Now from the head position you can guess that it is not anything like a cow. I have drawn it from the front view so the length of the nose and the mouth is not visible here. This is the actual picture the angry wolf next one is this one now from the sketch you can guess that it is either crocodile or something related to that so the actual animal is a dinosaur so you have seen that different animals have different type of skull so their head will be very different from each other so while drawing animal heads you have to be very careful it is not at all standardized you have to practice a lot also you have to see much more reference for each animal. These were some of the examples of how to draw cartoon heads. But keep in mind that you can always use your own style and you can make your own rules. You can just go and practice a lot so that you can find your own way and your own style. So hope you have liked the video. If yes then please click on the subscribe button below and also click on the bell icon so that whenever there is a new video you can always get the notification. Also you can share with friends, click on the like button, write your comments in the comment section okay so that's all for today have a great day bye bye